Hey guys, I'm Andre. I'm Hamilton. <laughs> My name's Tristan. And this is ATV. We're gonna be going and watching the new death battle that came out, which is Sora vs. Pip. Yeah. And when did it came out? Uh, I don't remember, it came out like a week ago, I think, by now already. Something around Almost. there. At least from when we're watching it. But honestly, I didn't know anything anyone would even be able to stand against something that's closely resembling a Final Fantasy character, like, which is the same thing is made by Square Enix, like, uh, like Kingdom Hearts. So I, I don't have too much information on either of these stuff. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts, mm -hmm. and I haven't played anything other than Pit mm -hmm. from Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. I did really want to get into was, uh, that was, uh, oh. Kid Icarus Uprising. I wanted to play that game. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, uh, but that, I couldn't. I didn't have money to, when, I was, came, when it came out, so I, so I never did it. Go find But, no. so I don't know much. I, I've heard so many lore videos about, uh, about Kingdom Hearts. Not enough to retain anything. Yeah, that's, at all. that whole story just seems super confusing. Even, I don't remember which goes with which or anything like that. Because yeah. I've seen so many different ones. Yeah. And I don't retain any of that. So, so literally these characters are pretty new. I know of them, I know what they can do and stuff like that, but other than that, I don't know their feats or anything like yeah, that. Same goes for me. Like I would know from yeah, most yeah. characters. But we'll see, in this video we're going to explain a lot. Yeah, they're probably yeah. going to explain a lot. Yeah. Pretty much this is where we're going to get all our information from. So let's just go and get into it then. Yes. So. So. School attack. Mm -hmm. If the fate of the universe is at stake, well, the last person you should trust to save it is a naive teenager with magical weapons they don't understand. But everybody does it anyway. Like Sora, <laughs> the Keyblade-wielding savior of Kingdom Hearts. And Pit, the angel warrior from Kid Icarus. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Hey. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death oh, so battle. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Once upon a time, there was a small child, full of promise, Actually, named Sora. And he lived on the one and only Destiny Island. Destiny. Sora and his friends Riku and Kairi grew up honing their athletic skills by playing sports with Final Fantasy characters who don't judge Sora's fashion choices. <laughs> Wait a minute, what the hell are Final Fantasy characters doing there? A hint of things to come. For the longest time, the residents of Destiny Island lived a peaceful life, Final but it wasn't long Disney. until a soulless embodiment of evil would invade the island. This was the Heartless. But the arrival of these creepy crawlers wasn't the only surprise. Alongside the darkness came light in the form of a keyblade, which is the key to fixing That's everything. Sharp. Mm. Super subtle. Hey, this keyblade in particular was known as the Kingdom Key, and was drawn to Sora thanks to his pure heart. With the Kingdom Key, Sora had the means to combat the Heartless. By unlocking doors? Well, it yes, dies, the so. Keyblade can get past almost any lock yeah, out there. I know but despite not having a long, sharp edge, it's a surprisingly deadly sword. Do all Keyblades have that? Ability? It's a sword, and it's also a wand! Sora can use it to sure. cast all sorts yeah. of magic yeah. spells yeah. like a wizard. Yeah. He can yeah. even shoot a laser beam off the way to the moon! Unfortunately, huh? despite his newfound weapon, the Heartless were overwhelming. The darkness washed over Destiny Island, and just like that, it was gone. But gone. thanks to cosmic reasons, Sora wound up face to face with Goofy and Donald Duck. Goofy and Donald. Yep, he ended up in the most magical place on Earth, Disney. If you're confused, don't worry. <laughs> you are not hallucinating. Somehow, in some way, this impossibility exists. Yeah. Turns out, while Goofy and Donald have been lovable cartoons for decades, they're also world hopping warriors. Oh my god, this is what? the best thing ever! That's why. From then on, Sora teamed up with his new oh friend and brought the Jesus. to the hearts of worlds, saving them from the heartless grip. And he wasn't even old enough to get a driver's license. While Sora may not have been strong enough to save Destiny Island, he quickly learned an enormous amount of talents perfect for beating back the darkness. Including some genuine ass kicking magic, like shooting fireballs, freezing baddies with blizzards. Fighting yeah, with lightning and war! Cool. He can reflect I projectiles, like manipulate like time, magnetize yeah. objects, and even so alter gravity. He's got a bunch of other magic attacks, but my favorite is Ragnarok, which fires a bunch of homing energy beams. 
And I guess he's got some magic abilities that don't involve beating monsters up, which I think is pretty lame, but Wiz insists we talk about it. Thanks to the Kingdom Key Sword, he can use spells which remove negative effects, including curing his own wounds. Dang. He can also glide like Peter Pan and teleport like Figment. I still don't know if we should call it a sword. But Sora can make it even better with keychains! They can even transform the whole Keyblade into more powerful versions with way more oh, badass names, yeah. like Oathkeeper. With all these abilities, Sora battled oh, the Heartless and took the fight to the man who discovered them, Xanort. He even defeated Xanort's Heartless and his nobody. Oh, that's kinda hard, Wiz. Why are you calling him a nobody? He's definitely somebody. No, see, a nobody is a somebody without a heart. But a heartless is a somebody or a nobody, though they may have been a somebody filled with anger. Like Scar from The Lion King. Well, I'm a somebody that's really, really oh my confused. God. But to save all worlds, Sora found he had to be insanely strong, fast, and tough. He's speedy enough to run up a building, and quick enough to dodge magic lightning. Not just magic lightning, or oh, yeah, legitimate that... lightning from the sky. That's very a feat which could only take mere milliseconds. Sora put all that speed to good use once by perfectly blocking hundreds of lasers from damn near every oh my angle in just a few seconds. So it's safe to say he's no slouch. As for his strength, not only has he cut through giant building-like structures with ease, uh, he's launched them as a Though gravity is in flux he's here, a building this size normally weighs around 100,000 pounds. He has a he's held back two of Cerberus's heads and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hermes. Yeah, this is why I knew, you know, like, the demigod who threw a giant like rock monster into space. Although well, this Titan's shape is too inconsistent to scale. By treating him as a series of cones made of granite, we can estimate his weight as over 1,600 tons. That's like throwing 200 T-Rexes into the sky! <laughs> so yeah, Herc is really, really strong, and Sora can take a hit from him, no problem! Oh, come on! Oh, Sora's ability to take a hit might be one of his strongest characteristics. Jesus. He survived the jaws of Cerberus, ancient Chinese dragons, being shot by a musket, and, hell, the fires of Hades. But he isn't without his downfalls. While he's strong in his own right, he relies a lot on his friends. Yeah. Like, all yeah. the goddamn time. I knew they have a lot of- He can't even enter his fancy like, drive forms, which boss, 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 the power of him an extra keyblade, without help from Goofy and Donald. So, in a broad scope, he's fairly limited on his own. No big yeah, deal, though. Luckily for Sora, most locks yeah, only need best. one key. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if that was profound, or just stupid. Brad, you're stupid! The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. Okay, okay. Now it seems pit. Let us return to the distant past. Yeah, to an age long ago. When gods and man lived together in harmony. How long ago was this? Uh, 25 years ago. What? Anyway, the kingdom of Angel Land was ruled by two goddesses. Palutena, Palutena, the goddess of light, and Medusa, the goddess of darkness. Who pretty much treated everyone like crap by turning people into statues and destroying their crops. Oh, that's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey! But hey, what'd you expect from a being who holds the title <laughs> goddess of darkness? She's just doing her job. Angered by these misdeeds, Palutena transformed Medusa into an ugly, one-eyed, parcel-tongued monster and banished her to the dark underworld. Talk about throwing okay. shade! Long story short, Medusa waged war with Palutena, who summoned the greatest hero Angel Land has ever known. Hit! My arrows will stop that Apricus Maximus! No, 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 <laughs> definitely not that one. This one. Oh my God. Uh, hang on. Greatest hero ever? More like his with mom wings. used to drop him off at elementary school. Don't let looks fool you. Pitt may seem so yeah, young, can fly but he is the captain um, of the Icarus army. Yeah, he but he can only fly. He can Palutena glide, himself. but he can fly Ooh, with only her help. You're telling me this I know that. human looking kid is the captain of an army? Well, well he is over 25. He's an adult. adult. Alright, that's pretty cool. Actually, he can't. Yeah. What? Look, he's flying right oh, there! Oh yeah, he's an angel. Well, Pitt may have superhuman abilities, but he can't actually fly on his own. Yeah. Thankfully, Palutena regularly grants him mystic wings, which do allow flight, though they can only exist for up to five minutes. Yeah. After that, they burst into flame, sending Pitt careening to a horrible end. Yeah. Holy Star shit! Ship. So the captain of hey, the army doesn't <laughs> have his own working angel wings. 
That's what you're telling me? Yeah, it's a little strange, but blessed. don't try to bring it up. He's a bit touchy on the subject. Anyway, Pit managed to defeat Medusa and everyone would have been happily ever after. after. Uh, Just kidding, Medusa came back 25 years later, looking better than ever, by the way. And this time, Hades came along to mess things up, too. Oh, great. As captain of the Icarus army, Pit has some extensive training under his belt. How else would all these soldiers save Palatina from a sudden invasion of... Vegetables? Uh, uh, right. But what the most dangerous. The most dangerous. <laughs> He's well known for his archery skills and shows it off with his trusty weapon of choice, the Palutina bow. This bow uses awesome laser arrows that can actually be guided by Damn. And if it's Get out of there. Close, pick and split the bow into two short blades for quick, deadly yeah, slices. This, this is from uh, what is, what is from, like, he is highly skilled in several classes. It was one of the animations that was coming out His for one of the Smash Bros. strength and power of the gods, making humans incapable of wielding them. These range from orbitars, like floaty shoulder cannons that can also block attacks, to blades, cannons, claws, hammers, staves, clubs, and weaponized tattoos. Ah, oh, wish my tattoo was a weapon. Uh, anyway, all these weapons were forged by Mentos, the god of forge. Dentos. Dentos, the fresh Mentos. <laughs> and the guy who also has <laughs> ultimate weapons, the three sacred treasures. Hidden away in three sealed caskets, the sacred treasures consist of Angel Land's mightiest weapons, which can only be used by the most heroic and worthy of heroes. The mirror shield reflects projectiles. The wings of Pegasus give Pit unrestricted flight and improved speed. And the arrow of light is the ultimate weapon of the gods that can murder basically anything. The arrow of light is absolutely the deadliest weapon in Pit's arsenal and increases in power based on Pit's own health and strength. And when all three treasures come together, Pit is granted the legendary silver armor. Uh, you uh, tapping into mustache of booze whiz? That's not silver, it's gold. Well, colors are different in heaven, I guess. Weird. Well, Pit learned several abilities. So it's a swordsman versus like a... Healing, dropping mines, and making his armor right, invisible. Sure. And all oh, of his skills came use. in handy. Not he's only did he defeat the Medusa, Sorry. but he's taken yeah. on alien pirates, a space kraken, and the god of death, Thanatos. At one point when Thanatos attacked a village, he launched a large boulder which Pit obliterated so thoroughly it was completely pulverized in mid-air. Calculating the day out. Wait a minute. Let's see. How are those <laughs> drugs? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> he's not tipping over. Focus, Boomstick. Pulverization is defined as reducing an object to dust, which certainly applies here. To determine force. the force necessary to do so, we first need the size of that boulder. For that, you? we'll compare the boulder to those pillars. Oh, here comes the math! Strap on your mind! What didn't you need? The wind pressure standing near the pit just appears to be about 11 feet yeah, 6 inches tall. By comparing his height to the pillars, we've determined them to be 18 feet tall. By comparing that to the boulder, it's clear it has a diameter of 115 inches. To pulverize a stone this large, Pit Strike must have outputted energy equal to nearly 1,600 pounds of TNT. Damn, little angel kid. Strong, huh? out. Pit's yeah. also incredibly quick. He was able to maneuver, react, and fly from the top of these clouds well, of to the lunar an angel warrior. in less than 40 seconds. Despite looking like one, that's no moon. It's a space station, orbiting the Earth at a similar altitude to the International Space Station. The average distance from the ISS to the highest cloud layers is about 242 miles, meaning Pitt must have flown around 21,600 miles I feel like they're going to do it. Around. I feel like they're going to do the thing where he's going to fly, star, man. try to fly away to the moon. He's going to so cover this distance in a fraction of a second. Yeah, you already feel that, right? You feel something like that, huh? I don't know anymore, man. <laughs> not moon thing really yeah. is the Death Star. With Pitt's superhuman durability, he's tanked hits from gods and taken falls that would turn any normal man into... An angel? Well, a dead man, yes. In his final duel with <laughs> Hades, the god of the underworld, but isn't Pitt took like, a devastating blow that sent him plummeting at least 2,000 yeah, feet. Yeah, Given Pitt's like, weight, the impact of that fall would be over 8 tons of force. And he was fine! This Hades guy can cut through giant diamond spires, so a hit from him could be as powerful as nearly 30 tons of TNT. Of course, while Pitt uh, may be uh, formidable, uh, he's not perfect. He has been tricked into losing fights multiple times, and often relies I mean, on assistance from his godly allies. They both get assisted, right? Angel, isn't a fight. Even with his wings on fire. In the name of the 
Yeah, but I feel like Sora is just dumb. Like, they kind of... See, remember, like, I least... Really, it doesn't really test. It is all about Sora. Yep. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk about slicing vegetables and getting the cravings on heavenly food. Okay. Come on. But <laughs> I, don't know. Oh, I don't know. It's just it's, it, to me. It just seemed like a lot of the feats were not comparable to Sora. Uh, I don't know. It kind of seems like it might Sora's be. Like I, said, I like okay. I like I said. It seems like they're kind of building up to a thing of like from having two different space moon like things. They're kind of building it up to like. So yeah, he's gonna fly away, so try to fly. So can shoot him though, because it's and then, one second and, to the moon, right? But yeah. the, the one thing is the fact that like his shield, it doesn't say that like they didn't say it's break. Um, they didn't say that it's breakable or anything. I think yeah, yeah. that it might be able to repel it. Yeah, but I feel like that's they're gonna use that type of thing like earlier on, like not at the end. But also, Sora it's, has the key that's overpowered. That sword. Uh, I could see it winning because there's a lot of little things. Yeah, you're right. That it seems like he he has, or more not little things, but more like he has a lot of uh, advantages, I guess. Mm -hmm. That sword doesn't have. Yeah, he is. I don't know. He looks strong. He looks strong though. Uh, okay, so I guess uh, it's just. For the final thing, let's just say who we're going with then. Okay, because we don't you guys really go first. have as much. You guys go first. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of like Pit better, but I guess I'm going for Sora. Okay. Uh, pretty much just because of about how, what I've been seeing about it, I'm I'm going for Pit. Just because I think there there could be a chance for him to get in there. I'm also gonna pick Pit. He's cooler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. Better he's, reason. He's, a, he's captain, man. Look at him. Better reason than any. Yeah, but it's, it's cool, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yep. So it's Pit and Sora. Pit, Pit. So yeah. We'll see. And I think I thought I had a chisel. Yeah, you should have picked Sora. We should have Pit. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one. All these. Yeah, we go get them, pal. <laughs> What? What he said? <laughs> <laughs> Who's where am I kicking this time? Oh yeah, they actually got the voice actors that do the really the, the the voice game, for the game. game. Sorry to keep you waiting. For Pit and Sora. Yeah, yeah it's in uh, Goofy or Donald. No, not in Goofy or Donald. Goofy, I just played by one of the white. He nailed that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Donald, I think they just got a uh, voice <laughs> Take this! Fire! Whoa! Ha, I've seen candles that are scarier than you! Oh, it looks small. Oh, yeah. oh shoot! <laughs> Let's Jesus. take this to the next level! Where you can fly to Kenny? Whoa! Jesus! Jesus, I don't think Pit's got hit yet. I'm scared if he does get hit. I'm scared if he does get hit. Yeah, they haven't really ch 
aimed at anything. Sorry, it's just been gone at it. Normally, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? Did they say that he could do something like that? Oh, he already changed into all that. Oh no, no. If oh, I start to change the whole thing, it's not a good thing. You said it. Well, I don't think so. I think they're just gonna flash, man. Three things power, it's coming at me, huh? No. no! Shield it! Oh, come on. I knew they were gonna. Damn. Why? Boy, Sora? No. No. Chaos. We lost. Yeah. That's why we deflect too close shield. to the Sora. Yeah, all right. Son. Where's the shield? He may have had the advantage in flight and experience, but he couldn't beat Sora's strength, toughness, and speed. Hit may have dodged a laser moving 90 million miles per hour, but Sora's reaction speed was quick enough to dodge natural lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke, which constitutes oh, the bright wow. flash, I mean, moves I at around 220 could, million could miles lightning. per hour over twice as fast as Pit. That combined with his teleporting and time manipulation powers meant Sora I don't was think just Sora too quick for Pit to lightning, land very many just big hits. Plus, when from Sora the moon, shot that jet light beam to the moon, it took one second flam. That's 1.28 times the speed of light, much faster than anything Pit's reacted to before. Of course, Pit did have enough weapons to keep Sora busy. But Sora's impressive and wide-ranging magical arsenal provided yeah, multiple have counters for pretty stuff. much anything Pit threw at him, including superior healing techniques. Hey, remember that building Sora oh, cut through? Slicing it up like Swiss like cheese was impressive enough, but this building was completely made of stone from top to bottom, and Sora cut through seven at once! These buildings may have been composed of a modest stone like granite, which has a minimum shearing strength of 14 megapascals. In comparison to Sora's height, each building was about 23 feet tall. By measuring Sora's largest slash and the distance and strong, cut through all seven buildings, we can determine Sora's striking energy to equal, at minimum, 78 tons of TNT. That's way more than Pit's boulder pulverizing feet. No wonder this guy beat Herc. Speaking of which, let's compare some of the strongest beings Sora and Pit have taken hits from. The amount of energy needed for Hercules to throw that rock titan into space had to have been around 24 megatons of TNT, whereas Hades strikes were equivalent to only 30 tons at best. So Pate had never but survived also anything like close like to was Sora's strongest attacks. Was actually just by numbers alone, kill, Sora's right, strength, right, speed, and durability just outclassed Pit, yeah. and the Keyblade by itself had a way more impressive track record than any of Pit's weapons. You might say it was the key to this fight. And when we pit them together, one of them yeah, was bound them to together. be a Sora loser. And there's a the winner is Sora. I feel like Sora. there is a lot of underlying things. Thanks for watching. Check out the exclusive commentary on this episode hey, by clicking the box right over there. And thanks to McLeod Gaming for letting yeah, us use their sprites yeah, in this battle. You can check out their latest game and the music used in the battle in the links in the description. I mean, it seems like Leon would win that. Yeah, yeah. Leon's like military power. trained yeah. and everything, or he's just a to military photographer. Well, I guess he had that military training. He went to because he only did that afterwards. That he was part of the military. Yeah, that's what both of them had. I don't know. You gotta see. Huh? Like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah, he's not even in the military. He doesn't just get paid. Like he wasn't just paid to do work. Hey, but look, it's coming May 3rd, 21st, I think. Yeah, that's so wild. Hey, so we actually build it. Reacted all time. Yeah. We'll see. But yeah. <laughs> Sweet. It's just weird. Yeah. Well, Alright. Too tiny. Kind of similar, but tiny. That was like, entirely different. Yeah. But yeah, like, I feel like it was all just to continue from the pit and one instead of going to this yeah. one. I feel like there was a lot of assumptions yeah, in this so one because they didn't have enough information based on both on both characters. Yeah. Uh huh. Because King, anyway. Kingdom Hearts is very seems very uh, motivated by moments and stuff like that. 
kind of like the Disney. So it doesn't, like, a lot characters. of stuff might not add up. And yeah, plus with the Disney characters, it's and like, like the different, like putting her. No one expected Hercules to be fun, like with Donald and Goofy and things like that. So it's like the different realms of stuff. Cause like Disney itself is just like yeah. there's no actual scaling to it. Like the fact of like the fact that like in the movie, Hercules actually like stretches that um. I don't know, I haven't seen the movie in so long though. Which one? The little goat guy, he like, like stretches him out and stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, it like, turns him into a ball and it's like, like he probably is pretty do that to like Donald Duck and it's like, yeah, cause it's, it's Disney, there's not gonna be an actual- There's like, also a thing, there's like a thing, like, to, to be more topical right now, like with Infinity Wars, Kingdom Hearts, now that Disney owns them, could add Marvel characters. I'm not, I'm not saying they should or anything like that. I don't know how people feel about that kind of stuff for Kingdom Hearts. I'm just saying they could add things. So it could be like a thing of like, oh, uh, they could add Thanos to be topical about Infinity War, like I just said. And in it, they can make a thing where he does uses the Infinity Gauntlet, and it doesn't work on Sora because his Keyblade, or is like yeah. can't be changed by reality or stuff like that, or anything. Like that's the stuff they can do because it's such a. Uh, it's about different realms putting together into one. Yeah. So it, it, so a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. I feel like it won't make sense too much or yeah, follow Disney. or follow perfectly a and, line. Well, Pit, Pit also, and then Pit just like I think only has like three games. Yeah. So there's not enough information some, on a lot like of stuff. And NES games, which obviously aren't gonna get the most power. There was, I think, the uprising. I think it was a Wii game. The one. I'm pretty sure it was a 3DS game. There was a Wii game. A Wii or GameCube one, I don't remember, but there was one. Yeah, but like... That's where the big 3D graphics ones come from. Yeah. Right? So it's but, just, uh, I don't but, know. But, uh... Yeah, it's like, there's not enough information, because a lot of times the games were just shooters and stuff like that. So, I feel like a lot of stuff was based off assumptions that they could do and things. Cuts and stuff, right? Yeah. Disney always we... prevails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, so that's why that. I feel like it is a stuff, but... The fight was cool. Yeah, the that fight was, was cool. I like learning. I, the reason I love Death Battle is learning new things about characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, Especially the ones you don't know. Yeah, there's yeah. stuff. There's characters you don't know, and I even love just learning. You always kind of learn new stuff of characters you thought you knew too. Yeah. That's why I like watching Death Battles. That's, yeah, that's pretty much like the main thing, and then you at least just you get a fight and then you get to fight. But the thing is, is that I won. <laughs> I won this one, though. So that's just really for today. <laughs> I'm just just the law, so that's another mark yeah, yeah. And I don't re extremely remember the death battle counter, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna fight come he opens, up. He opens the head in the head yeah. right now. I've got it, I think almost every single one is right. No. Not every single one. Like, the one I didn't have was Batman and Black Panther. And I'm losing. I didn't get because I wanted Batman. I knew Black Panther was gonna win. I just really wanted Batman to win. There so was I'm a good. couple of them going on. I think at least three. I got the Raven one right. I got the... What was the newest one? Oh, Crash the Spiral one. That one we all did. We yeah, all did that right. Which was another one that did. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't get the Joe stunt. Because I wanted Joe, Joe Taro to win. Yeah, but, uh, one. it was for one of the more recent I I ones. Yeah. But yeah. But, uh, alright. With that said, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, comment down below <laughs> on any series or videos you want us to, to see. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch our videos in the future. And I thought I said, see ya.